Hello, I'm Mandy McLaughlin from Frankie and Sydney. I'm going to show you a short demonstration of how to put together some really simple shapes from our Dinky Donk kit that has been featured on her chanda. Uh, it makes this lovely, cute little Dinky Donkey uh, from some very easy shapes, as I said, and uh, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to create something um, that is, is really cute. Right, so, our kits come with all the really simple instructions, step-by-step -step photography of how to put together the kits. Uh, ahead of time, what I've done, I've created the shapes for this particular kit. Um, this is a dinky donkey. So we've got, um, it's, it's almost like um, a carrot shape. This is gonna be the body. We've got another carrot shaped uh, shape, but slightly smaller. We've got two pieces of wire that are covered with wool and a set of ears and the wire comes in the kit already cut to size. It's a really simple process to cover it um, and it's a really simple process to put it together. So what I've done as well, this is going to be the head and I've sewn the two bead eyes in place that will form the nose. This is going to be the nose end. Uh, and firstly, what we're going to do is to join the head onto the body. And so what I'm going to be doing is holding the two shapes together like this and using the needle felting needle just to go between the two, the two shapes, just to create a little bit of a bond. Uh, and then I'm going to be adding some wool uh, in order to create a firm joint between the two. So already that's joined on, but we're going to need a little bit of wool. So I'm using the same colour wool as the body shape. These uh, shapes were created uh, with core wool, which is included in the pack. And then you've got this coloured finishing wool to complete the shape so that you've got that sort of classic mingled uh, donkey colour. It's like a, a mix of greys and blacks and white. It's, it's quite a lovely wool. It works really well for this kind of model because it's a little bit rough um, and gives like a bit of a shaggy um, kind of effect over this model. I'm going to put a little bit more wool underneath the head. So I'm just tearing off just a small amount of wool, just lifting that head back ever so slightly and uh, felt in between the two, the two pieces. And already that's forming quite quite a firm a firm joint between the head and the body. Right. There we go. So now you can see that we've got that head, that head's joined onto this body. And you've got the two eyes that I put in uh, just before I joined the two pieces together. And we've got the two pieces of wire that are included in the kit that I've pre-covered in wool. Uh, the step-by-step -step instruction shows you exactly how to do this. Um, one wire is longer than the other. Uh, one wire is going to be going around the bottom of the model. So I'm just going to curve that around the bottle, bottle bottom of the model. Just going to curve that around the bottom there and then I'm going to be adding wool to this base to join the two pieces together and like the head just before I put some wool on I'm just going to gently just felt around this bottom edge so that we've got a join and it makes it easier to work with. Right. There we go. A little bit of wool over that joint just to strengthen it like so and that's the two the two back legs 
that are going to help that little model stand up. The second set of legs, all we do is bend the wire into two, into half, lay it down onto the body, and then just felt into the surface of the wire and wool, straight into the body. And because it's natural wool, the felting needle takes the wool into that body shape and helps it to stick. Right, we're going to add some more wool onto these legs so that you're creating a little bit of a chest area and already it's starting to stand up. So a little bit more wool, just over this leg section. this so I've added the grey over these legs and I'm going to be adding a small amount of white wool just to give some markings so just place a little bit of white wool on that chest area on top of the legs where I've made the joints and I'm just loosely felting some white wool into place just to create that little bit of character on the front of the donkey. This is really good quality wool. It, it felt very, very easily. Just within minutes, you can see results. And add a little bit more to that. Of course, the kits come with all these sections of colour that you're going to need. There we go. Right. Next up, we're going to be adding the ears. So, pre made the ears, and we add the ears to the back of the head and the little section of the ear that's been left unfelted is what we join it on with. So it blends into the coat, so you can't see the join. So that's ear number one, and we've got ear number two going on. It starts to take uh, shape and gain its own character when you start adding the little facial features. So we've now got a set of ears. Um, next we're going to just add a mouth. So we've got some dark, dark wool. This is a black wool and um, we just need a very small section of wool. You just tear a tiny bit of wool off and drape it and pull it into where that mouth area is going to be, like that. Pull it into place and then just felt along that line and you'll find that that dark wool stays in place and creates that little mouth detail. And then any loose ends you can just felt into the model. So now we've got a mouth. I think we're going to put two nostrils in. So again, little tiny bit of black wool, just tear two pieces off. And there we go. Nostril one going in and then nostril number two. It now needs a mane, so we're going to be just tearing a very short piece of the brown uh, contrasting wool and just laying that on the head, just felt it into place 
and then just bring the additional wool over so it's just draping down between those eyes and um, you can make this as long or short as you want to suit suit what you want we're going to be putting some brown down the back because donkeys have a little rough mane normally so again just tearing small pieces of brown wool laying it across and then just felting it into position like this and then lastly to finish the features um, I'm going to be just adding a little tail to the back of the model. So again, piece of just a piece of brown wool. Place it onto the bottom of your model. Fell into place, and then just bring that that tail up the body. So you've got that little tail there. Now, in just a few minutes, we've added uh, the shapes together. Very simple process. There's more work to be done on this because we can add the bridle and the little collar. Um, all the wools are included in the kit. So you would add the red wool. Um, you could add further detail around the eyes and um, the little band around its neck. There we have it. A dinky donkey, just in a few minutes. Thank you for watching.